Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Kimber Bell. My name is Laurie and today we're going to talk and share some tips and tricks of how you would download your files that are in your downloads to a USB stick or device or a card reader. So to start with, we're going to find the downloads. Now the down this is for anyone that's got a Microsoft uh, Windows version. If you have a Mac, you'll want to be viewing our other video. All right, to get started with, we're going to find the downloads first. So we're going to go uh, follow my mouse down here to the bottom, and you can see that there's a little folder, and it's called File Explorer. We're going to select the File Explorer. Now on our screen, on the left-hand side, there is a selection of menu options. We're going to select our downloads. And the first thing I wanted to show you is this right here. There's a little zipper on this folder. That means it's been compressed. Most of the time when a file or several files are in a folder and the folder is sent via link through download from a website or from an email, it may be zipped. So if it's got a zipper on it, it's zipped and you know that it's zipped. So we're going to unzip or extract these files. So I'm going to select it with my left mouse button. I'm going to come up to extract and I'm going to extract all of these files. Can you see where it says extract all right here? I'm going to extract all of these and I'm going to choose my destination so that I know where I'm going to find them and the destination that I want is back into my downloads. So that's my folder that I'm selecting is my downloads. I'm going to extract those files and I'm going to let it have a chance to download. And as you can see, these, these files have now appeared in my downloaded folder. So I'm going to go ahead and select my exp file and, or folder. And as you can see, these are all folders which have now been unzipped or extracted. Okay? So now I'm going to select my exp folder. And as you can see, there is my arms, my body, my head, my legs, and my muzzle. And these are all exp. And these are in singular form now. So now what I'm going to do is I can select the top one, press the shift key, select the bottom one, and it selects automatically everything in between. So now I'm ready to take all of those files over to my uh, USB stick. Now if I just want one and number four, then you would use your control button, hold it down, select the fourth file and it allows you to just select in particular files that you want instead of all of them. Um, in order to make my bear though I want all so I'm going to select the first one again hold the shift button down and then select the bottom one and that selects everything in between. Alright so the next thing we want to do is put our USB stick in. So I'm going to put our USB stick in so that we can save it to that USB device. And once you insert your USB stick, it will pop up on this window to the side. So as you can see, over on the left hand side, once my USB uh, device was installed, you can see that it will pop up on this left hand side where it wasn't there before. So now it says USB drive F, that is my drive where my USB is and I have a few other uh, items already on there. I'm going to go back to my downloads, back to my exp, and I'm going to save the exp files right here. I'm going to select all of them, select the top, select the shift key, select the bottom, they're all five there. Now I'm going to grab them using my right mouse, and as you can see it says five. Now it doesn't want to put them in any of these places because none of those places have a place where it's not the correct device. So down here, my USB drive, as you can see, the minute I click on my USB drive, it has a plus sign. That means it's okay and it's ready for you to save or drop those files onto that USB device. So now if I click on the USB device, you can see right here where I've got those five folders or five files, excuse me, that we were trying to save onto our USB stick. All right, the next thing you're going to do 
before you eject is you find this little carrot button right here. And I'm going to click on that. And as you see, there's a few there. You may have a few more. That's okay. But you want to find the one that's the USB stick. I'm going to click on that and I want to eject this stick and I don't want to disrupt any of the data. So that's why I'm going to click on eject. And now it is safe for me to properly remove my USB device or your card reader if that's what you saved it to. And then you can take it to your sewing machine and insert that in your embroidery machine. Now I would caution you a couple of things. I want to go back and show you one more thing on the downloads. So I'm going to go back to our downloads file. I'm going to go back to the exp file. And a lot of people try to open this. They'll double click and they'll try to open the folder. But it won't let you unless you have particular software. This is what will happen. It'll say, how do you want to open this? You need some software in order to view this. We highly recommend do not do that. Do not open it on your computer. Only open it open the designs on your embroidery machine. If you do have software that opens it and you're still having errors, that would be one of the things. It's either not compatible or there is um, alterations that are happening to the design. And so we just recommend to bypass that. Just take your file and just drag it straight to your USB stick. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful for you today. Bye-bye.